Hello. I I wanted to do a video. I just didn't have the motivation for that. Yeah, I usually don't have problem with motivation, but now now I do. I don't know why. Anyway, in this video, kids and grown-ups, uh, we're gonna I'm gonna show you how you can export individually your layers, not in Photoshop but in Creator, because both of these processes are very alike. Um, but the difference is that Creator is free, Photoshop is paid. So I'm gonna show you how you can do that here. I'm gonna use this character that I uh, that I did a long time ago. It's not my it's not my character, but. I mean, you know the character, you know what, what's going to happen, I guess. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to see you in a little bit. Okay, let me just... Uh, anyway, how to export individually the layers that you see here on the right. Um, This is my picture. What I have here, the, uh, I have the eyes on the separate layer. I have the, uh, the ear on the separate layer. I have the hand on the separate layer. Let's say you have a character like this. If you want to animate the different parts of that character, make sure those parts of this character are on a separate layer. So now, once you have them the way I have them here, I'm going to show you how to export those individual layers. Make sure you uh, hide your background layer and you have only the character or the layers that you want to export. So what, what you need to do is go to Tools, Scripts, uh, and then export layers. It's very straightforward. The one thing that you need to remember before you go to this window is to make sure you save uh, your your file. Uh, this file that I have here is called Pickaboy and it's saved as a creature file. So why even sit like this? <laughs> Bear with me. Good. Um, make sure you have this as a saved creature file. So in this case, my file is called Pickaboy because it will appear here and you need to pick which file you want to export. In this case, I have only one open and only one save file, which is this one. Uh, the other thing that you need to keep in mind is the it will export your layers, but it will export them into that format. We don't need that format because that format will export them with the um with the background, and we don't need the background if we want to animate them, right? So we want to have the images with. The, the extension of PNG, which means they will not have any background. That makes it, I hope it does. <laughs> the other thing that you need to um, check is to ignore the invisible layers. Check this only if we have other layers here. Like for me, I have a bunch of uh, other layers. I have a bunch of other groups as well. So this is not ideal. But I, again, make sure you check this box. And from the initial uh, directory, that di directory. Why I struggle? <laughs> well, I don't know. Um, just click on it and find. Or you can make a you can make a new folder if you want to. A uh, creature uh, will make a separate folder after you tell it. But I just like to make a new folder so I know that my file is there. So I'm gonna do some magic. I'm gonna select all. Oh wait, 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 wait. Um, I have my folder here. You pick your folder, click select folder, and everything should be good to go. You shouldn't um, uh, uh, rearrange your um, size. Doesn't matter. Uh, I mean, it does matter, but don't touch your size. The whatever size you have here on your canvas, in, like in the beginning that you put, that's the size you're gonna get. Click OK, and then for me, it will take a little bit of time. Because again, as I said, I have a bunch of other layers here on the right, and it uh, it it, it, it is trying to ignore those, those layers and those groups. So finally, it says that there have been exported all the layers. So I'm gonna get to my group, uh, my my folder, and already, uh, Krita had made a new folder with the name of my file. That's way, if I click that, since I have a lot of groups and other stuff, it makes two two folders. I don't know why. But here's my exported character with the separate layers, which, with the uh, separate images that I need. And now from here, I can, you know, import this into, let's say, After Effects, um, any other program that supports and helps you to do the perfect animation. Open Clues is a great program as well. Uh, from here, everything is just easier and I don't have to bother to save individually all these layers that I could literally have used this function here 
and it makes your life uh, much easier, I think. Um, anyway, this is all for, oh, this is all for me. Um, I hope I help you with these videos. Uh, that's the idea behind this uh, YouTube channel. Um, I really appreciate all of you that are coming. You know, new people, people, and the people who actually stayed here. Um, thank you for having patience with me. Um, I really appreciate it. Um, let me know if uh, you need any more, any more help. Yeah, I mean, yeah, if you need more help with this, uh, go down below if you have to. Um, like this. I mean, even even when I get one like on, the, on these, I, I feel like I already have one person. So that's, I, I guess that's enough for me. Um, thank you so much. Uh, until then, I, I'm not, I'm very bad with the schedule here on YouTube because I don't want to follow the schedule. But it, we'll see how that goes. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Take care. Bye. My hand is fine now, but I don't want to. I mean, I drew it my hand. Uh, but I don't want to overwork my hand. That's why I don't want to make a drawing video yet. We'll see. Maybe next one. Goodbye.